Not sure if you know this, but when we first met, I got so nervous I couldn't speak. In that very moment, I found the one, and my life I found it missing piece. So as long as I live for love. So beautiful in white, and from now to my very last breath, this day I'll cherish. You look so beautiful in white
welcome family, friends, and loved ones on this beautiful October afternoon. We gather here today to celebrate the wedding of Jose and Chelsea. You have come here today to share in this formal commitment they will make to one another to offer your love and support to this union and to allow Chelsea and Jose to start their married life together surrounded by people that are most important to them. So welcome to one and all, especially for those who travel from different states such as Florida, Louisiana, the Houdet Nation, <laughs> New York, and South Carolina, and Lake Tennessee. As far as away from Guatemala and El Salvador to be here today, making this truly a global event. <laughs> Jose and Chelsea would also like to recognize all of those who couldn't make it here today as they are certainly missed but not forgotten on this day of their celebration. Jose and Chelsea first met at Best Buy where they worked. Oh yeah. <laughs> and eventually they had their first date at the famous Olive Garden. <laughs> sharing all you can eat salad and breadsticks. <laughs> but seven years later on that day at Disney World, Jose got down on one knee in the front of Cinderella's castle, asked Chelsea to marry him. And she said yes while marrying wearing her mini mouse ears. <laughs> Jose knows Chelsea loves her at Disney and from taking her to all those Disney movies and to Disney World. And a few times, I guess we can thank Walt Disney for all of us being here today. <laughs> but the real reason we are here today is because this is the start of Jose's and Chelsea's new journey through life. In the spirit of the importance of their marriage, Jose and Chelsea have asked that I read two selections that especially resonate with them. The first one from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It is always protect, always trust, always hopes, it always pres preserves, love never fails. The second reading is from Matthew chapter 19, verses four through six. Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning the creator made them male and female. And so for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife. The two will become one flesh, so they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Next, Jose and Chelsea would take part in the rose ceremony. Marriage is coming together of two lives and a celebration of love of two people. But it is more. The love that the bride and groom feel for one another is the flowering of a seed that their parents planted in their hearts years ago. Today, as they embrace one another in their love, so do they embrace the families which have come together to celebrate with bride and groom on this happy occasion. As a sign of their love for their families, bride and groom would like to offer these roses to their mothers as a symbol of their eternal love. Bride and groom would like you to know that your efforts were not in vain, and that your love and support is very much appreciated. They thank you for everything you have installed in them. These roses are a promise that no matter how far away you are, that you are not forgotten and a reminder that you are always in their hearts. to officiate her wedding to Jose, I was surprised and shocked. <laughs> but honored to do so because Chelsea's family, and if you can't depend on family, who can you depend on? And in a few minutes, Chelsea, you and Jose will be a family. And that's what today is really about. 
We've all been through enough weddings to know that sometimes during a ceremony there are words of wisdom or encouragement. Chelsea and Jose, you don't need any of those words from me. If you do, you're in trouble. <laughs> you two already know what makes a successful marriage work, because you learn from your parents. Jose and Chelsea, both your parents have sacrificed a lot for you. They worked multiple jobs and made many sacrifices to get both of you where you are today in life. Jose, your parents, Jose and Lucy, while working, made the small sacrifices that made a big, big difference in your life. So that your mother would leave work early to beat you when you got home from school to make sure you were all taken care of. And your father would always make sure you had your lunch money for school. <laughs> the best advice your father told you was to have a plan in life. I guess you listen to him and your mother. It's because of the hard work, sacrifices, love they make, they, they have for you, that you are the man you are today and the husband that you will become. Chelsea, your parents, Michael and Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Mom, I got you. <laughs> have sacrificed a lot for you as well. Your father worked multiple jobs, did an awful commute in the DC. <laughs> And he still changes your oil on your car today. <laughs> he does. <laughs> but your mother also worked, but she's always been there for you through the good times and the bad times. And for your birthday, she always made you lasagna or spaghetti for you. <laughs> it's because of the hard work, sacrifices, and love of your parents have for you that you are the woman you are today and the wife that you will become. Chelsea and Jose, you two are about to start a new chapter in your life as husband and wife. Although you two will always have the support and love from your family and friends, but it's always going to be your love toward each other that you will make this marriage work. You two have been together for seven years now. Mostly it's been good times, but also there's been some hard times in there. The pledge you make today expresses your devotion to one another and the love you share. But the words spoken here will support your marriage if you're able to sustain your commitment to the available hardships you will face together. Today, in the presence of your family and friends, you pronounce your love for each other and make a commitment that will define the next phase of your journey. We celebrate it with you and wish you well. Chelsea and Jose, you will now read your vows. Chelsea. I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> so if I stop a lot, don't get mad. I'm a bad public okay. speaker, okay? Join the club. I know. <laughs> Jose, after almost seven years together, I stand in front of you ready to make a new commitment. There's a quote that describes the way I felt about you the first time I spent time with you. My soul saw you and kind of went, oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I never felt like there was anyone out there who would accept me. All the things people didn't like about me, you surprisingly loved. And all I wanted was to see you smile. I truly believe I was brought into this world to meet you, to make you happy, and to love you. So these are my promises to you. I promise as long as I'm alive, you will never doubt if you are loved and cherished. I promise not to make you go to Disney World for every family vacation. <laughs> and most of all, I promise to be your navigator on all our many trips together, your best friend, your sidekick, and most of all, I promise you myself forever. That was a nice <laughs> Beloved Chelsea, today I become your husband, and today you become my wife, and I vow to love you no matter how far in the world you may go, whether it's China, London, <laughs> <laughs> or all these other places you go to. I vow to love you, no matter how many dogs you decide to adopt. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's coming. Be ready. <laughs> and I vow to stand by you as a husband, for you have completed me as a man. And And, uh, it's okay. 
And you are the very foundation of this relationship, where you bring all the smiles, the laughter, the good ideas, places, fan, nice places to go. You bring them all. You have shown me devotion and patience, and now here we stand. <laughs> so, with the, with the, and I've grown to love your passion for both, for everything, from going to Disney, your passion to Disney, your passion to coffee, <laughs> and your passion to. Uh, reality TV. <laughs> where you have all my passion for comics, superheroes, <laughs> and Dota. And for that I'm very grateful. And with the loving support of our families and our wonderful friends, I see nothing but a ma ha happily magical ending for a wrap. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the rank exchange. Reed and Chelsea and Jose pick for the ring exchange. The ring is an ancient symbol so perfect and simple. It has no beginning. It has no end. It is around like the sun, like the moon, like the eye, like arms that embrace. It's a circle for love that is given, comes back round again. Your rings are precious because you wear them with love. They symbolize your commitments in marriage. They remind you of who you are and where you've been and where you're going. As you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are as individuals, but also who you are as a couple. Please don't change your hands. Stay forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. Poor. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. To cherish. To cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we parted by death. That's right, you do. <laughs> Chelsea, please repeat after me. I, Chelsea. I, Chelsea. Take you, Jose. Take you, Jose. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From the state forward. From the state forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. And cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by Chelsea, as much as you have pledged yourselves each to the other and have declared the same the presence of this company by the exchange of vows and giving them and receiving other grades by the power invested in me, being the king of Mardi Gras, <laughs> and with my two certificates from the Commonwealth of Virginia, <laughs> and I'll pronounce you of the award. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to present to you for the first time, the new Mr. and Mrs. Jose and Chelsea Hernandez.
first up, we have Sister Mel Hernandez and Leo Pearson. Next up, we have the grandmother Mamo Jenna and Gary Jenna. the water across the deep blue ocean under the open sky oh my baby i'm trying boy i hear you in my dreams i feel you whisper across the sea i keep you with me in my heart you make it easier when life gets hard Bye. 
wish we had a one more kiss I'll wait for you, I promise you I will I'm Lucky I'm in love with my best friend Lucky to have been where I have been Lucky to be coming home again See to an island where we'll meet. You'll hear the music, feel the air. I'll put a flower in your hair. Though the breezes through the trees are most so pretty, you're all I see. As the world keeps spinning round, you hold me right here, right now. Lucky I'm in. Friend, lucky to have been where I have been, lucky to be coming home again. Lucky we're in love in every way, lucky to have stayed where we have stayed, lucky to be coming home someday.